Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this one more episode of Shield Classroom. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about combating crypto jacking. By the way, before we get into the topic itself, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Ram and I'm a cybersecurity specialist at Manage Engine. Now, when we talk about crypto jacking, we first have to talk about what cryptocurrency really is. That's the first question. Well, cryptocurrency is a type of a digital currency that is completely decentralized. So there is no centralized authority such as a bank. And it is actually dependent on cryptography, right? So that is what cryptocurrency uh, is. And then crypto jacking is an illegal form of crypto mining. Now, what is crypto mining? Crypto mining is the act of generating cryptocurrency using computing power. Now, computing power can be in different forms. It can be resources, it can be CPUs, it can be GPUs, and so on. It can even be your desktops and laptops. And a crypto miner will use all of these resources to mine cryptocurrency. But then it is done illegally. That is, somebody uses someone else's computing power to mine cryptocurrency. That's when it becomes crypto jacking. So crypto jacking is the illegal form of crypto mining. Now, there are four main ways in which you can uh, look for crypto jacking happening within your network. And those four main ways are right here, four events rather. The first is high CPU usage alert. So whenever the CPU usage goes beyond a certain threshold, usually it's around 80%. So if it is more than 80% usage, and let's say that happens for more than five minutes, there is something definitely wrong, and you may want to be alerted about that. So that is one event that you want to definitely look for when you want to uh, you know, defend against crypto jacking. The second thing that you may want to look at is high machine temperature alert. Again, if the temperature of the machines uh, that you're monitoring goes beyond a certain threshold, again, that would be a cause for concern. Now, this temperature can vary for different devices, and it is all from the chipset from the chip itself, uh, that will signify whether the temperature has gone beyond the threshold or not. The third event to look for is cryptocurrency mining software, which gets started. Now, under normal circumstances, there is no reason why a cryptocurrency mining software gets started within your network. You wouldn't want that. In case a cryptocurrency mining software does get started, it's cause for concern, and that's an event that you need to look for. There are Quite a few cryptocurrency mining software uh, that are available in the market that legitimate crypto miners can use. And if one of those processes or software gets started within your network, you may want to take a look at that. So that is number three. Likewise, you've got cryptocurrency wallet software started. You want to be in the know whenever such events also happen. A cryptocurrency wallet is a way in which you can store digital currency. And it's a way in which you can transact very, very easily. It's kind of like uh, like your online banking or your net banking, where you know using your net banking, you can do a whole lot of different transactions. It also is a repository or it shows you the records of your repository. Likewise, a cryptocurrency wallet will serve a similar purpose. And whenever a cryptocurrency wallet software gets started within your network, you want to know about that too. So these are broadly the four things that you want to look for when it comes to combating crypto jacking. Thank you so much for listening.